Hey guys, good morning. All right, check this out. I'm going to get right into the scripture. It's Galatians 5 chapter, Galatians chapter 5, beginning at verse 16. And it says this, it, this I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another and envying one another. I think we've heard this before. A lot of times, if you're not saved and you're not a Christian, you're basically walking in the flesh. You may not do all these things. Not everybody that's not saved is a murderer, but there are other things that you do. I also encourage you guys to look up the definition of each of these words. You know, the, the, the fruits or the works of the flesh. Look up emulations. Look up, you know, um, <clears throat> dissension, strife. Look up all these things that's here. And see all the different definitions that's underneath it. You know, even you may be surprised, even as a Christian, how you are walking in some of these scenes. So it's important to say, well, I'm not striving. I don't. Well, what's dissension? What's strife? If you look it up, you'll see that, oh, this this is something that I do or something that I struggle with. Now, guys, a lot of times we read this and oh, we read about the works of the flesh and then we quit go over the fruits of the spirit and go yay <laughs> but here's the thing how do we keep ourselves from walking in the flesh well you want to be led by God and if you're being led by God and being led by the spirit actually then what you what you should really do in your everyday life is to match up your actions to the works to the fruit of the spirit Am I walking in meekness today? Am I dealing with a situation with patience and long suffering? Am I walking in gentleness and goodness? Are you a gentle person? Are you a patient person? Do you have joy? Here's a good one. Do you have peace? Do you, or do you wake up uh, worried and you go to sleep worried and something happens and you're worried? We have all been guilty of it. You see, I think a lot of times if we keep the fruits of the spirit, in our heads at the forefront and ask God to help us to be able to practice these things. Now, a lot of times people want to pray and then just keep doing wrong. Well, if you are truly asking God and being led by the spirit and saying, Lord, I want to walk in the fruits of the spirit. Then when your child gets on your nerves later on, this Holy Spirit is going to remind you to practice patience to practice gentleness, when you have to explain to someone on the phone at your job for the second and third time something that you already told them, you're going to be reminded that you used to, you need to use kindness. You need to use gentleness. That's what's going to come to mind. If you be, if you get in the habit of not trying to be like, okay, I'm not going to commit fornication and I'm not going to do this granted we're not supposed to do that right and we're not going to walk in that but if you as a believer in christ set your mind on practicing these fruits of the spirit or setting a measuring stick in what you're doing today when you woke up this morning were you walking in love were you walking in joy were you walking in peace long suffering when everybody was taking too long to get to the car when you couldn't find your car keys did you still have gentleness and goodness when a situation occurred 
your coworker is getting on your nerves again or uh, you're one of your employees and they did something against when they came in to talk to you did you exhibit kindness did you have temperance or did you go off even if they're wrong because they're always late did they call in again on Monday and then you know they got something going on on Friday when you're dealing with that situation even if that person is wrong are you exhibiting the fruits of the spirit are you exhibiting the fruits of the spirit with people that you're dealing with with your family are you de uh, dealing with long suffering what's long suffering long suffering does not mean that you just sit there and let people take advantage of you it just means it's very it's sort of like temperance in the sense of listen something is happening that's not pleasant and that's going on but by the power of the Holy Spirit you're able to hold fast to the things of God and know that you got to go through this thing this thing that is unpleasant this thing that is not pleasant waiting and trusting for God to bring you through it's like you're holding on to the life raft and you may have the elements of cold and wetness and all these things going on the unpleasantries of a situation but through it all you are not falling away from God falling out in faith you're holding on long suffering is holding on to Christ regardless of whatever is going on <laughs> let me change this idea that long suffering mean I let you make you make I allow you to make me suffer long <laughs> now mm -hmm. get it right guys you have to have wisdom Long suffering is I will suffer with Christ. I'm going to hold on. This is going on. But while I, this is going on, I'm going to hold on to God, no matter how hard it gets. And while I'm holding on to him, I trust him that all the other fruits of the spirit are being proven and tried and they will be exhibited in how I deal with the situation. So guys, let us not get so caught up in, okay, I don't want to murder. I don't want to be drunk. I don't want to revel. I don't want to do idolatry. If you focus on being led by the Spirit of God and making deliberate efforts to say, God, today I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that you will help me to walk in the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit will be exhibited in all I do today. I'm going to tell you as you allow those fruits and you practice you may not do you may not be perfect you may not do good in one ear but if, if that's your prayer and you say lord jesus i want to be led by your spirit and you aim to walk in the fruits of the spirit i'm going to tell you that the flesh and the works of it is going to begin to diminish to the point that you see that you're not struggling with it anymore mm -hmm. guys it's not mind over matter it's really a made up mind. You make up your mind that I'm going to follow God. I'm going to follow his laws. I'm not going to keep falling into sin and doing these things. All right, guys. Don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. Peace out. Bye.